Hey guys, today we're going to talk about creating your own custom components. So, you know, you might have been using Plusbec and, you know, got some cool things happening with walls and you're going, well, how does it suit my company? Now, I get asked this question a lot. How do I actually create components that are specific to what I do as a job? And this uh, fellow that I just spoke to actually did interior fit outs and in his fit outs they had cash registers. And I quickly went through this and I thought it was a really important thing to show you guys how to actually go about doing this. So keep an eye on my mouse and you'll notice uh, how I go about creating things custom. All right, so SketchUp. It's amazing because there's so many things you can do. You can create your own geometry and, and I'm pretty sure you'd be aware of this by now, but I'm just gonna quickly create a rectangle here, right? And I don't know, for instance, of the CAS register, you know, how do I use this associated price with it, ensure that it's quantified for me every time I do it? All right, so let's have a look. If I go here and to my rectangle, obviously, you know, whatever the size is that you require, whatever the item is you're gonna create. And you can see this is probably a little bit large for a cash register. So you know what, whatever size is probably right. I'm gonna use metric here. I'm gonna say 400 by 600, which is uh, huge because I was actually working in meters, I think. I don't know, I actually drew it closer to me. So something good um, when you're actually uh, new to SketchUp, understanding, you know, heights uh, of information or where you're drawing uh, is paramount to understanding scale. And that's the reason why they have that little person in the corner uh, so that you can get an idea of scale. Right, so I'm just gonna push pull this up here and then I'm going to put another rectangle inside of here and create a screen sort of similar to what you just saw. And this is my cash register. So I'm using F. If you slow this down and watch my keyboard shortcut, you'll notice every time I click on my keyboard, you can see what I'm doing. So I use uh, rectangle, push, pull, and offset for this particular thing. And you know what, you can add buttons or whatever it is you're gonna do. Um, move, control, times on my keyboard, times three, enter. You can see I only wanna go times two, enter, right? And here is my second cash register say. Right, so what I do is I triple click it until everything goes blue, right? So click one, two, three, fast clicks. And that basically highlights everything that is associated with this cash register. It's not connected to anything else. And therefore, if you had have had a face in the background, just a quick tip, and, and I triple click this now, it's actually going to select the face as well. So you really want to shift and deselect anything you don't want to be part of your component. And this is just SketchUp I'm using here, right? And there, and therefore the selected geometry is what's going to create a group or a component. If I right click this in plus spec and I go uh, make BIM component, I can call this cash register two, two. And I can basically put, give it a brand, an item code, put it on a layer so that it's organized and I can give it a location of where it could be or some notes about it. Um, buy this from Costco, whatever. Type it probably a bit better. Uh, and all this information is gonna come through later. I can also give it a price. Uh, so if I said, you know what, I wanted it to be a $3,000 cash register, this one here, and I'm gonna purchase it through who, whoever I'm gonna purchase through, and I can give it a URL or a website uh, link uh, that will come through my takeoff. I'm gonna go submit here. Right, and what's actually happened is I actually created something if I did a takeoff from, uh, let's quickly do a takeoff on this model. Maybe another screen there. Uh, and I went to other components, it's on layer zero. And I also have this original one I did on layer zero here as well, which I made that $5,000. Let's have a look. Edit, see more, and you'll notice that I've got six cash registers at $5,000, and I have one cash register at $3,000. Now obviously if I move this cash register and put multiple in or copied and pasted, uh, and I updated my takeoff and went to here. I now have two cash registers. It's organized the information, it's given it the information that's required uh, uh, and that I've written into the, the dialogue there 
to do that. Now, I want to use this cash register over and over and over. So what I can do is inside of my component. So if you don't have this default tray here, let's go, no. If you don't have this default tray and it's missing, you can go up to Windows, default tray, show tray, right? I've got it here and I, I usually pin it on and off. If you're doing complex tasks, I pin it off. It just makes the computer run quicker. And then inside of here, you'll have materials, which I'm gonna hide and styles and tags and everything else. However, we're looking for components, which you can see here. And I want to look for components that are in the model. Now, because I have a whole heap of stuff in here, I've got to actually go and scroll through and find this cache register. And it's under C, right? So here I have cache register, the one that I just drew, right? So if I actually clicked it, uh, and I clicked inside the model, it's going to add another one, but I want to save it for next time. So next time I open up SketchUp, I can have, can have this cache register. So if I right click on this cache register and I go down and go uh, save as, it's now opened up SketchUp and whatever version of SketchUp you're using, SketchUp components. This is basically a location on your computer and you'll notice I added a, a folder here. So back here and I was inside of SketchUp and I actually went right click, uh, new folder, right? And therefore everything inside of this folder, if I save it to that folder uh, and go save, every time I'm in SketchUp, whether I'm in a new version or an old version, I don't have to go through and find components. I've actually saved a library of components. So if I went to components and then I went components, cache registers, you'll notice it's come up here. And now I can choose my original cache register here and I can choose a new cache register and I've saved that information. So creating a folder structure uh, at this stage of the job is a really good thing to do. Now, there's a bit more to it. You can actually create nested components, which is components inside components. So let's use, say, a bathroom example. Uh, and I've quickly got one here. And inside of that bathroom, I have a toilet and a PowerPoint. So what I could do is I could use my wall tool and create my own little bathroom. Let's just say we're going to go from here to here to say here. Right, and we have a bathroom, so it's it's a it's a group of walls, and inside of my bathroom, obviously, I'm going to need a door. So add a door. You can add a window or add whatever it is you want to do. I'm just going to quickly add in, say, a eight two zero door. Right, and so also inside of my bathroom, I'm going to need other components. Now, Plus Design Build and Plus Big both come with a pretty comprehensive. Uh, number of items inside of it. So if I was looking for electrical components and I went down and said I wanted a an outlet switch or I can scroll through and said I wanted a, a switch, there's several things I can do. I can actually select a wall inside of SketchUp and go drop to wall, which basically enables me, as you can see, down the bottom here, I can type in a measurement, so height first and distance second. So my height is zero at the moment, so I'm gonna click once and then it stuck it at zero, right? But if I said I wanted my height to be at 900 uh, and I wanted it to be a meter, comma, one meter, right? It, it then chose a location for me to add in a component, right? You can see what happened there. Now, getting back to the point of what I'm telling you here is that we want to create this into a bathroom. So we're going to need a bath. We're going to put the bath there. And you know, you can spend a lot of time setting out bathrooms. So I'm not going to get into set out or design. And we're going to need uh, a, a toilet and go submit. I'm going to put the toilet in. You notice that this particular component will stick to a wall, right? So we're going to put that one there. You can move it around later if you want to change items, information about it. And what else are we going to need? We're going to need a vanity, uh, submit. Uh, stick that against the wall there. Obviously a poorly designed bathroom, but you can see what's what's happening here. And you might have several different set outs of bathrooms that you want to do. You can save all of this information inside of your model. We'll have one last thing. We'll just go a shower uh, corner, shower screen and go submit. And we'll put that over here. 
All right, let's just roughly put that there. Change the size of the things. Now, here's a bathroom that I'm gonna use over and over and over. Now, obviously, you're gonna spend more time, you're gonna do window locations and all that type of stuff. But once you've created this bathroom, you can actually go and select it. So space bar, and I've gone over the top of it, and everything that's selected inside of there, I can make a component. So right click, make component. You can make it a BIM component and give it a price for everything inside of there if you want to, or you can just make it a, a total overall bathroom. I'm gonna call this large bathroom. All right, and I'm gonna go create. Inside of my model, when I go back to uh, items inside of my model, I'm looking for large bathroom. You would think that you'd be able to type in here, but you don't. You have to scroll. Uh, LMNOPQRS, where am I? Looking for large bathroom. L, 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 A. You get the idea here, guys, but large bathroom. Now, if I wanted to save bathrooms, save as, and you'll notice, uh, but if you have a really good setup here, this is the components. I've got bathrooms as a folder here, and I can create a multitude of different folders. And you might even want to have bathroom items inside of bathroom folders. So, so you could go inside of bathrooms and go right click new folder, and maybe it'd be bathroom accessories. All right. However, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to put my large bathroom here and go save. Uh, location is not sure what happened there. So, okay, so because I added in that extra folder there, it actually was was struggling with the location, I think. Let's have a quick look and go save one more time. There we go. Okay, so next time I open SketchUp uh, and I go through and I look for um, my components, if I now go to here, I've got bathrooms. Inside of bathrooms, I can choose my small bathroom or I can choose my large bathroom or whatever you type it in, whether it be bathrooms or you know steel structure or anything that's required, you can actually find this information and quantify this information very, very quickly. Guys, I hope it helps you out because it's really important to understand um, how you can make SketchUp and Pluspec together work in a way that helps you get more done. Guys, if you like the video, push like. If you've got any questions, type them below. If you dislike the video, push dislike because I really want to ensure that, that you guys are getting the right information to help you be more profitable uh, and efficient in your business. All right, guys. Cheers.